It's not connecting. Why is it not connecting? Again. If you go into the packages menu here, you can... So, just like me. Sometimes you just don't know what is wrong and you need to contact somebody and ask for help. In this short video, I will show you what information to prepare so that this somebody can help you better. Before you contact somebody for help, it's good to first try a few things. First of all, I always recommend doing a system upgrade. So connect to your router, uh, go into the system packages menu. We have a button that says check for updates. So check for updates. In my situation, I'm in the testing channel uh, and it says here system is already up to date. In your case, it might be the stable channel. For most people, stable channel is the best. If you see that there is a new version, it is always uh, recommended to upgrade. So you would have to click download and install. So for example, here in the development, I see that the latest version is newer than the current one. I would click download and install. But in my case, the router is already up to date. So I will close this. And um, what else? I can prepare my configuration so that this other person who is going to help me can read it. So there are two ways. If you are contacting a MicroTik consultant or somebody on the forum, you can export all of your configuration in a text file. And it's going to be a readable text file. So how to do that? You open the new terminal here on the left side, and then you type uh, export hide sensitive. This means that no passwords will be included and uh, you can show this file to uh, basically anyone. So export hide sensitive, but in my case, uh, I want to save it as a file. So I type uh, file, help, whatever. So uh, enter and it's done. In the files menu, now you see a file called help.rsc. Right click and download. This is going to be a text file. You can open it with uh, any kind of text editor, see what's inside. So this, this is the file you want to send somebody and then they can open the file and see what stuff you have configured in your router and you don't risk sharing your password with anyone because this hide sensitive option takes care of that. Uh, what else? So if you want to contact MicroTik support, not a consultant, you can also make a system support output file. This file contains more information, but uh, all of the debug information is only readable by uh, MicroTik support. So if you type system support output, sup output, type enter, then it's going to create a special debug file with all kinds of information inside, including crashes, uh, reboots, uh, logs, mm, and uh, information about your hardware and other stuff. So this is going to take a while. Uh, it's very important that you wait until the file is completely done. And it can take a while, especially on devices which are quite active and on uh, also on slower devices. This can take even several minutes. So while the file is being created, I also suggest to uh, look at the log files. So here you can see the log. It has all kinds of interesting information about what's going on in your router, but not all of the information is being logged right away. You need to go into system logging and sometimes it's useful to add a new rule. For example, if you're having uh, problems with a wireless, you can go and add topic wireless and then add debug. So both topics, wireless debug. This will make sure that additional information is being logged. And now you'll also see not only caps info, you'll also see some debug information. In my case, I'm running capsman, so it doesn't apply. This is just for sake of example. If you're making a support output file, make sure you add relevant uh, debug logs before you create the file. So you can also add similar stuff, for example, if you're having troubles, uh, problems with uh, L2TP, add L2TP, debug, OK. And then go and either click this button here, make support, uh, support output file, or just like I did in the terminal, type system sup output, enter, and wait until it's done. And once the file is created, this is the first file I made. Right click, download to your computer. And that's it. 
before even contacting somebody, make sure that you didn't make a typo or some kind of uh, mistake that is causing all your issues. So uh, it's, it is uh, also important to try and reconfigure everything from scratch. So you can go to System, Reset Configuration. So there are several options here. Um, if you want to completely reset everything, then you can check no default configuration. Then the device will not have any standard factory configuration. Everything will be disabled, no addresses, nothing. But for home devices, it's usually suggested to start from the factory configuration. So leave this alone and uh, click this button and it will reset the device to factory defaults. And then you can uh, go and reconfigure everything step by step. Uh, to make sure that you didn't make some kind of typo. Sometimes you, um, you, you add some kind of addresses and then you make a small mistake and this can be the cause of all your issues. So first, reset your device. Start from scratch, do everything. If the problem is still there, enable some logs. System, logging, add some debug logs. After you have enabled the, the debug logs, you can uh, make uh, the export file, you can make the support output file, and then you can download these files and, and send to a Microtech consultant. You can post your export file into our forum, but at least then you'll be already prepared. You can say that you have already upgraded your router, you have already enabled the logs and you have read them and, and you didn't see any obvious problems, and it will be much easier and faster for people to understand what's going on in your device. In any case, uh, these are some uh, basic first steps you need to do. My personal suggestion is to start with a Microtech forum, which has a lot of uh, people and uh, they are quite friendly. You can post a clear description of the issue that you're having. You can describe that you already did these basic things and include your export file and uh, then the people will not have to ask you to do this and try that, uh, you'll be already prepared. And in case uh, the forum is unable to help, you can always send the support output file to the Microtech support team and then they can see uh, that you already have done your part and then they can uh, already start looking for the actual, actual issue. They don't have to tell you to upgrade and check the logs. Even for me, sometimes I run into some configuration issue and I'm pulling my hair out and I just don't see where the specific issue is coming from. And then I'm, I have made an export file, I show it to my colleague, Martinch, and he's looking at it and he says, you have a typo right here in the first line. And it's just, I didn't see it before because I was just so concentrated on finding my mistake that I didn't see the obvious thing. So yeah, making an export file is definitely my number one suggestion. And good luck.